Welcome back to Clownsville. I am sitting pretty. You are. So we've discussed in past episodes how this microphone stands a big piece of shit. The thing is, it's connect. It's really cheap and light, uh, but we're using a Blue Yeti microphone on it. And it is, you know, Blue Yetis are pretty heavy. So what did we do to make sure that it doesn't droop? I put a piece of duct tape. No. No, I put like a whole rung of duct tape like on the end. So it's like a counterbalance. <laughs> just, and it worked. You just hung the fucking roll of duct tape from the ass end of that microphone stand. <laughs> and it is the perfect counterbalance. It is not drooping at all no. anymore. I bet if I took this off, the fucking mic would fall into my lap. Absolutely. I am. Duct tape is amazing. <laughs> it can do anything. It can even, do anything, even if you're not sticking it to something. Yeah. Except uh, now I, on the other hand, am using a lovely crane that is uh Whoa, there's expensive. a crane in here. <laughs> oh, God. Who would let this happen? <laughs> Jacob, apparently. Just shit. Anyway, uh, this is Mr. Grossberg. Uh, we're going to talk to him because Mr. May kind of, uh, or Mr. Uh, White, kind of incriminated him. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. <laughs> he's just standing there and grunting weird. <laughs> Maybe I should clear my throat. <laughs> Trump and Jehoshaphat. Oh, that's how you spell that. What is a Jehoshaphat? I think it's a name. Oh, I think it's a biblical reference. It sure sounds like one. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Why, why would you say that? That's fucking weird. <laughs> I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. His hair and mustache are the same. Oh, they are. <laughs> mustache hair. Mustache hair. Uh, whatever. Just start from the top. So you came to see the trial. Yes, yes, I did. Uh, something was bothering oh, me God. all last night. <laughs> I'm gassy. Sorry, I just drank a bubbly. Uh, something was bothering me all last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it was just me a sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. <clears throat> Ahem, excuse me. Ah, I asked before, but uh, you, you, don't make fun of me, boy. Sorry, I asked before, but why, why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Wright. Oh, I get it. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Mr. White! So I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, uh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... That big painting, the photo of Mr. White, why did you defend Maya? I mean, that's bothering me the most, but he's already said he's not going to answer, but why does Mr. White have the painting? Yeah, I feel like that kind of ties, like, the relationship between the two together, the fact that he has that painting. Exactly, yeah. Mr. Grossberg, sir, uh, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? Uh, the one you said had no, you had no intention of parting with? Oh, he did say that, you're right. Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO office, CEO's office at Blue Corp, Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. <laughs> connected, you say? Yes, and I know that it is... Your lovers? Yeah! Oh, oh no, I don't know about that one. I'm saving, dude. Dude, we haven't played this since fucking... Since December? Jesus. I kind of want... You're lovers! It's not something I can claim to understand, but... You and Mr. White are, lover, are, are lovers, aren't you? <laughs> what? <laughs> you are completely on the wrong trail. Now I am no longer worried. My boy! You sent that painting to him as a sign. As a sign of undying love. My, my, my boy, please, you're, you're, you're letting your fancies run away with you. <laughs> Where did you get these bizarre ideas? I I don't understand how you could... But because I'm not. We're not. Don't be ridiculous. Enough. 
I'll swallow my pride and tell you all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that got us where we needed to go anyway. I'm going to load it. <laughs> no? I'm, I'm nervous that that's going to be like something that'll fuck us later down the line. No. Oh. Like, I, I don't know how these visual novels work. It's like, oh, you called them lovers. That means you get the shitty ending and you get your balls cut off or something. <laughs> the developers come to your house and cut off your nuts. Oh. Uh. And if you don't have nuts, they surgically apply nuts to you and then cut them off. He, I'd say he's blackmailing you, huh? Probably. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? Ugh. I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. <laughs> Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were me as understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? I killed her. Red White is a man who made his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All well, because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of the photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It's hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White might be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What well, about? the DL6 incident, probably. Yeah, what the honk is going on there? What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police give the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. Oh! oh. A spirit medium. A medium. Her name was Misty Fay. She had a squirtle. Or a star you, excuse me. It was Ash who had the squirtle. <laughs> Misty had the, the star you and the side duck. Uh, Mr. Uh, G G G G Grossberger. I'm uh, uh, sorry. Uh, anyway. Fay. <laughs> Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the, be at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police f called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Hmm. Interesting. So what does he have to do with it? Yeah. But why are you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. What one person found out. I... I told him. Oh, God. You told White? Oh, wait, Mr. White. Yeah, that was the uh, name that Maya mentioned during her testimony. Or not her testimony, when, she, when we were talking to her. Wait, what did she say about him? Um, that he was the one who ruined their reputation. Oh. Something like that. It's. I'm sorry, folks. It's been a minute. He offered me riches. It's an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. Oh, I can't have that. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it and came to me. Only this time, the office, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have clo have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. All right, cool. Anything we can present to him, you think? Sorry, sir. I borrowed this. Oh, sorry, sir. I borrowed this. Ah, so it was you, my boy. So, who is this man? That's wait. Who could he be? Um, it's a long story. I'll be needing that back now. He doesn't want to talk about it for some reason. We just discussed this, Phoenix. I better give him back this photograph. Well, I hope that I don't. I hope that doesn't bite me in the ace. Sorry, my boy. I don't think I can help you with that. Just in case. 
That I'll get one of our other evidences taken away. We already don't have the affidavit. Now we don't have the picture. Ooh, that's a very nice cell phone. Can I have it, please? Oh, it's a very nice badge. I lost mine. I haven't been able to practice law for 30 years. Yet I do it anyway. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> it's funny. Looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. I'm gonna save real quick. This is a good game. What do you? How are you liking it? I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah. Uh, the painting. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was supposed. To, this was a movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. But Mia has shit taste in movies, so. Well, the case that she has ever worked. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Uh, T to Z, right? I mean... Looking for white? Sure, but maybe that's an alias. T, U... Ah, I know, W, white. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Huh. Maybe it's hidden somewhere else. Maybe. <laughs> All of the W's. If, if you're... Let's see, J through S. Nothing much here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this? Skim? Yeah, sure. Well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest parts here ends in S. Suicide. Ew! That's gross! Weird... Weird reaction, uh, Phoenix. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen... Huh! There's writing on most of these in pencil. White? This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... Oh, God. That's dark. I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. Newspaper clippings added to the court record. All right. Look, can we examine that? I kind of want to read it. No, not really. Article about a politician's suicide. The word white is written at the pencil... At it at the top in pencil. Okay. God. Okay. Anything else you think we can examine? I may as well check the A through whatever's. Yeah. A, B, F. Misty Fay. That's me and Maya's mother. Mm, should I take a look? Yes. I have tarnished the f uh, Mia. Oh, that's that's you. Uh. You gave her the, the basically the Pecco voice when we, when we played Don Marfa too. I have tarnished the Fay name, leaving only these words: "My mother vanished." I was determined to find the ones who made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two name men service. Name men. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. What an asshole. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Red Y. Uh, the record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg. <laughs> yeah, she did. Um... Should we go present that uh, article to Grossberg, you think? I don't know. Makes sense to me. Is that all we can look at here? Uh, yeah, let's take a look and see if there's Sorry anything else. Sorry for yawning. Ugh. It's okay, man. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. No, oh, I'll never get over it. Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. Shit, it's the worst part of Mia's death. The sky is blue and so am I. Phoenix. Damn. There's that hotel, right across the way, just like my soul. Your soul's a hotel? <laughs> my soul is across the way. Wasn't there another part At of the room? hotel? Wasn't there another part of this room we could examine? I guess not. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's run through one more time. Dude, one thing I love about Danganronpa is how, like, you could press a button and it, like, highlights everything you could possibly want to look at. Yeah, that's a pretty dandy little feature. Yeah. Anyway. Dude. Features. I love it when 
games have features. <laughs> I like you when games do things to make me smile. I like you a lot when video games turn on. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Man, if a video game can uh, boot, <laughs> then I'm okay. <laughs> there are boots, if and I will coot. I will toot the hoot boot. Anyway. I found this in Mia's files. So she was investigating Red White, as I expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Should we show it to him, you think? Um, he would fucking punch you in the dick and Again. take it from you. Yeah, good point. He'd be like, uh, you're a dumb little bitch. Uh, give me your fucking soul. Apparently, Miss May is in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. Where's Maya? In her in her cell or something? Um, I mean, hmm. The bellboy seems to be out, huh? The sound of water is coming from the shower. La di da, money making, money making. I got the money making blues. Someone seems to be in to enjoy washing washing the showers. Yeah. You can examine oh. the drawer now that he's showering. The screwdriver is still stuck in the drawer. I better not touch it. No telling what the bellboy would do to me. Oh, come on. Seriously? I mean, it's not like the not like the screwdriver is any useful evidence. Well, it might be, but... A bottle and two glasses rest on the table. I better not touch them. Nice weather again today. I, can I better see not touch it. Better not touch the weather. In the bed, we already saw that. It is too quiet in here. Uh, 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 uh. Do you like my ambient noise? Uh, 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 oh God! Uh, well, who let uh, a monkey uh, into the uh, hotel? Uh, <laughs> who let a very... Uh, <laughs> All right, let's move. Uh, let's move over to. I mean, I don't know what else to do other than uh, go to Blue Corp, huh? I guess. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you, Mister Lawyer. I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick dick. Stop. Hold on, wait on. Hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. Stop bothering me. You try my patience further. I fear a nasty accident may occur, Jimbo. Looks like we need to send you to the shadow realm, Jimbo. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Oh, apparently there's more stuff we could talk about. Miss May. I think we're past needing to talk about Miss April May. I've got to pull the spot quick. Wait, what was that? Uh, can I take a look at the... Whoop. <laughs> no. Whatever. Hmm, what's the matter? You seem distressed. Man of the murder. This guy's a pro at pulling the wool over people's eyes. I've got to... Got, I put, got to put him on the spot. Quick. Stop that! Your hot gaze is giving me goosebumps. Dude, he's gay. I'm pretty gay. There's no point asking someone this crooked a straight question. I need some evidence I can use as ammo. What's wrong? Is something stuck to my face? Why? Yes. The, the, there's my eyes, my nose, and my mouth. But of course, I jest. There's no. There. You need not restrain your mirth, my friend. Is he coming on to us? It is okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan sense of humor. I will not think less of you. <laughs> Alright, present him with the fucking this, eh? He's gonna take it from you and punch you in the dick! This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see no, this? Oh, he's gonna fucking punch you in the dick and take it from you. It's an article describing this the, is the worst possible thing. suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. Wait, so this guy is like, if he was embezzling funds, then maybe he should have been exposed. Is he doing good things? Well, I guess he was. Whatever. He fucking killed a per. He's he's obviously a terrible guy. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I, I didn't quite understand at first. The very next day, he took his own life, and this concerns me. How? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like li like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. Dude, what? I know what happened to all the W's. They were in the thinker. She said that there were files and shit in the thinker. Oh, you're right. Oh, we gotta figure out where the files are. Dude, doesn't that 
Does that fucking... Hold on. I thought there was a way to get rid of the, the HUD. Uh, it, it looks like the thinker has a willy. Anyway, white. Not the thinker, uh, fucking Atlas. At Atlas, yeah. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. Save, please, for the love of God. Yeah, good idea. I think we should have shaved before we fucking presented him with the only evidence we have against him. Yeah, you're but... probably right. But I mean, this that's obviously the next step of the game, so I don't know what else we'd do. You uh, blackmailed him. You bribed him, and then he killed himself out of guilt. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? You both? It's not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong, what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Beep. You want to be the inner phone? Secretary's office, hello! Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send him right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. <laughs> You're wrong? I'm confused. Yeah, I don't I don't know what uh <laughs> Do it again, Jimbo. Maybe we should appeal to him. You're right. <laughs> I, I don't know. Do what you think is rightest. I want to say you're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Hey, excuse me. What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered, and all of the documents you mis uh, about you mysteriously disappeared. Shouldn't we be doing this in court? <laughs> yeah, probably. So the culprit would be... Even a child could work, th work it out, Mr. White. You did it. <laughs> we won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. <laughs> I need to fire that one. White. Oh, wait. What is that you? What are you doing, Connor? Me a damn like that. Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What that about? I'm gonna need you to tone it down a smidge there, honey bunch. What that about? Whoa, is there a dog out? There's a dog outside. What? <laughs> Borf, I don't know if that, that, that's probably not being picked up on the microphone. I hope not. Uh, the Mia Fey If case. it is, put a little PNG of a dog in the corner. Wait. Oh, I stopped. The Mia Fey case. My witness to murder, you see. And thus, a very important witness. I would like to testify. What, why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Miss Cartman, please. <laughs> Quietude! I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right here in front of me. He looks dazed, but he could be violent. Oh, he's gonna accuse us of murder. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer, the man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in any position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer, as was Miss Mia. How dare you, you scantankerous hoe! I am a scantankerous hoe. Uh, I will point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyer association, you see. Oh, is Mr. Grossberg going to represent us, or are we going to represent ourselves? You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they'll make even you look competent. I, I feel faint. 
Ah, it's Detective Gumshoe! Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Where? Butts. Harry Butts. Right, actually. Phoenix Wright, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murder, right? No. Detective Gumshoe, I present you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. Uh, is the is the tape is the tape failing? Uh, only slightly. Okay. What? <laughs> okay, I'm ready now. And uh, what the fuck? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. I wish you could stop calling me that. It's hurting my self esteem. <laughs> September eighth. Sorry. Three thirty seven PM detention center visitors room. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to trap, set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. White. Mr. White. Why, oh, she's sad still. Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Thanks for taking the rap from me on this one. I'm glad I could kill my sister and get away with it. Ah, now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you? Ah, oh, she's su she's got sushi tears. <laughs> Excuse me. She. I was trying to say she's super. T t t t Moving on. Yeah, I don't know what you were trying to say. I was trying to say she was super teary or something, but it ended up going like sushi. Okay. I explained what had happened to Maya. Are you believing? How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. <laughs> my mother. That's one of my favorite things you said in this series. My mother. My sister. Now you. Is he gone too far? Oh, I'm angry now. Mr. White, please tell me. Is there anything I can do? Represent me. Defend me in court. Cheer me on in Defend court. Defend me in court. Woo! You're not even a lawyer, but... Help me break out of here. Oh, my God. Uh... I don't know why I feel like making two, uh... Two is the better option. Uh... What do you want me to pick? Defend me in court. All right. You can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. All right! Huh? Leave it to me, I am my sister after all lawyership runs in our blood. Wasn't it ghost powers that ran in your blood? I would better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. <laughs> Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. You're really oh. funny. <laughs> no, no, really, I, I was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. Wait, wait, I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay, then come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. Should we switch? Should we pick something else to tell her to cheer us on? Uh, I don't know, I think... I don't know how much it matters is the thing. Frankly, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, I got a gas bubble. I'll show them a thing or two. Weenus. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Okay. Ah, oh, times may change, yet this, with this with, with crime is the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day, with most, with most with a guilty verdict. What? Who the fuck came up with this shit? I know. Uh, this must be some kind of, like, fictional dystopia or something, because I don't think that's accurate. Uh, I never thought I would end up with the defendant's chair myself for this case. <laughs> I'm in the void. With the true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. And on the next episode of Clownsville, we will We're start this trial. We're going to be sent to the death penalty. Hell yeah. We're going to be put in the electric chair. Just as we deserve. Woohoo. Wait a minute.